Hi, I'm Tiffany Megan, and this is my friend Fran. Hi there. And tonight we're cooking dinner. We're making some albacore tuna steaks with a fresh pesto, and Fran's going to make a salad. Absolutely. I'll be having a great salad with romaine lettuce, some vegetables from my garden, like some tomatoes and avocados. Mm. I brought some extra for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, some extra spices in there that'll knock your socks off. And we're also going to have a mushroom couscous. And since Fran's boyfriend Sergio doesn't like tuna, I already grilled him a steak, so we got it covered. Get ready to eat. Let's cook. Yum, yum. Let's get started. I'm going to start out with the pesto. I'm going to add our basil, two cups, right into our food processor. We also add a quarter cup of toasted pine nuts. Fresh a squeeze of <laughs> squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Salt and pepper. Rock salt, does that seem to be the better salt to use these days? It's a sea salt and it's just a lot healthier for you. Much more heart healthy, it has reduced sodium levels and you know, it's good for everyone. Good. So we're gonna get this on, give everything a rough chop. All right, now at this point, we're gonna run the olive oil through it while it's running. That way everything gets smooth and creamy and mixed together. to get a texture of a puree, kind of uh, if you were going to, you know, going for anything with chopped herbs, like a sauce, but we want it creamy, that's why uh, we add the Parmesan cheese at the end. Pesto is really Italian, uh, especially with basil, but there's so many different kinds of ways you can make pesto. Tons of different pestos. Go ahead and get it a little smoother. Looks good to me. And of course the taste test. Mm, tastes good to me. Pull our blade out so we do not get hurt. Mm, oh yeah, taste it. Ooh, extra basil leaf in there. This tastes good. Mix it up into the bowl. Add our Parmesan cheese and fold it on in. So this is just gonna go over the tuna to give it a flavor. Really good sauce and it's really healthy for you if you think about it. Yeah, it seems to be very easy. I didn't realize pesto was that easy to make. It sure is, but guess what? I forgot the garlic. So we're going one more time. And it's no big deal that the cheese is already in there because if we want more because we can't taste it, we'll just add it later. I also saw a few uh, straggling pine nuts. Well, that's the good thing about a mixture. You can just throw in a garlic in there and just throw it back in. And Don't you love your processor? Yeah, exactly. Can't live without my processor. Absolutely. Good thing um, to get the processor going is to pulse it a few times before you just click it on. It's kind of like a car, you know? You, I'm gonna give it a second and let the engine run before you go full throttle. And this is a good one, so this garlic's probably pretty chopped. Looks good to me. Now you'll taste it. Much better. I knew something was missing. Absolutely. All right, we're moving on. Fran, show me your fabulous salad. Well, we're going to start with a couple different things here. Um, we've got some romaine lettuce and some white onion, different kind of flavor in there, so I've heard. Uh, Roma tomato, some very good avocados, and some lemons, and some parsley, which you don't really get this in the, in the salad. 
salad too often, but it really gives an awesome, awesome taste. So those are the ingredients that we'll be adding. Yeah, what kind of parsley? Uh, do you prefer that over Italian parsley or just for the salad? Or? Well, you know what, kid? You got me there because I have no idea. <laughs> parsley, very parsley. Parsley, parsley works for me. It all tastes the same, right? So, you know, what I'm just going to go ahead and do is just cut this bottom part off, which is not doing us any good anyway. It contains tons of bacteria. Absolutely. Grab my bowl here. And this kind of just take half this iceberg, not iceberg, romaine lettuce in half and just start chopping away. Pretty easy. You know what I love about today's uh, dish, Tiffany, is that everything is pretty simple. Really simple. You know? Especially you being pregnant, you know, you totally want to... Simplicity is key right now. Exactly. I can't I imagine that. that. You know? I can't be standing up so often. But, at, you know, well, how long do you think this whole entire dinner is going to take? I'd say... Mm, I'd say about 10 to 12 minutes tops. Tops. That's what I'm looking for. The good thing about tuna too is if you like it medium rare like we do, put it on the grill, one side, two minutes, two minutes on the other side, and it's perfect. While Fran's chopping, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my steaks with a little bit of olive oil. Extra virgin, of course. Extra fruity flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of, I don't know if I can drop his name, but I'm gonna add some Emil's fish rub wherever it went. There it is. Hope you don't mind, Emerald. You won't tell him. But it's the garlic that we love. Add it with your hands. Are your eyes gonna cry big time from that onion? You know what, this white onion doesn't make you cry. I, I will say I've never had a tear shed. Now the brown onion, you, why is that? You it's usually um, the crying factor on the onions. It usually depends on the freshness of the onion. But I think white onions are a little more mild than the shallots or red. Especially red. I know when I'm chopping red onions, I'm definitely in tears. Right. And I'm not putting too much, but I'm putting like maybe half, half of a half, so a quarter of onions in there. I'm just kind of throwing them in there. It's going to give them an awesome taste. Yeah, it all depends on your taste. Some people like a mouthful of onions, some like a little, depends. Absolutely. Mm, I love Roma tomatoes because they don't have the skin on them. And you know, skin can be a little tough to chew through, especially in a salad, so. Absolutely. Definitely like that. I kind of like the way they're firm too. They yeah. They have a firmness to them. Very firm. Absolutely. Juicy. And just gonna finish up with this tomato here and then after that, we're just gonna be putting in um, some parsley, some avocado, and we're just about done. Just need a couple more things as far as some oil and salt. Sounds good. I'll get the couscous going. Now, if you look in this pan right here, we've got two cups of water, a little bit of olive oil, and the instant couscous comes with a spice packet. It's full of gorgeous seasonings and also some dried mushrooms, so that's what gives it the great mushroom flavor. So we're going to kick it up here, stir it around a sec, Bring it to a boil. Once this is boiling, we drop our couscous in for five minutes or so. Cover it, let it stand for five, and it's ready to go. Couscous is super easy. It's a really great alternative to rice or pasta. Let's go back to Fran over here. See how she's moving with that. I'm moving just, uh, I'm moving along here, just putting in some Haas avocado. Um, I actually had a pretty good season this year. Had about, uh, still have about maybe, about 100 avocados on my tree. I love when you bring me avocados. I use them all the time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, omelets, everything. They're wonderful. Absolutely. And I've been told they're the good fat. They sure are. They burn the bad fats. We're all about keeping in shape over here. Absolutely. Sergio, you want to come help us? <laughs> eh, he's okay. He don't want to help. It's ladies night tonight. Since we're moving so quickly, um, I'm gonna get my grill pan heated up a little higher since I already did his steak, and we'll add our tuna to the grill in just a sec. Ooh, look at the steak. Look at Sergio's dinner. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Medium rare, just how he likes it.